Well guys, this one is something totally different. I thought I'd throw this film up because I was helping Mike out at a bushcraft show and I came across something. Wait for this. Blacksmithing in the pitch dark. Now, that means no camera lights allowed. There are no floodlights. There's no outside light. Only the light from the glow of the coals on the forge and the red hot metal. There's no fishing, obviously, in it. I thought a lot of you guys might be interested in this. It's only short. Hopefully you'll watch it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. I've got some more different ones to go up. And of course, fishing on the Fridays. Guys, enjoy. Now, name, sir. I'm Tom. Tom, Tom has been doing it how long? 11 years. I studied years, yeah. two years full time at the National College of Blacksmithing in Hereford um, and then we came down to Devon, I did some journeyman work, moving between other people's workshops and doing a few other new trades, I worked in a foundry for a while and then about four or five years ago I started up this proper incarnation of the business and we specialise in tools, yeah. tools for traditional crafts like the carpenters over here and tools for the outdoors. So you're making working tools like yes, we see here working tools. and you actually make these yeah. axes from, from nothing? Scratch, from big billets of steel. And the gold nugget here is, you were saying? That is iron production slag. So the Blackdown Hills, where we're based, is a historic iron production region from pre-Roman right through to late medieval. So about 2,000 years of iron making in those hills. And this is a lump from my back garden, and it's Roman. It's, you can see the runnels of all the metallic where it runs out the furnace. So that's the leftovers? As yeah, that is all the waste product, and which is why the hills is covered in it. Oh, really? There is yeah. farm tracks found us made of this stuff. Is it right? Yeah, yeah. there's that much, yeah. There's loads of it. It's a 2,000 years of producing, it doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere, does it? It's not gonna do it, yeah. Almost a fishing weight for me, that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, and these particular design of this, that one caught my eye, what this do you one? call that? No, this one here. This one, that's a parang, so that is a, a pattern you see in Borneo and Indonesia. Ah, that's and where I sort of recognise the curve, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a jungle shape. Um, but actually it works quite nicely for clearing brash and bracken and things yes. in the UK, particularly all your wetland plants around the edges of the lakes and things I imagine. Yep. And it just sits in the hand really nicely and you just swing through and that real curve in the hand, I mean it just sits so nicely in the palm. They're nice looking, they look nice mm. handle as well. So that's yeah, mahogany on those ones. So it's and when you get the blade like this, that's called, is that full tang, what they call that, when the shaft at the back? These ones are full tang. Yeah. The, so it's got to go through, so if people were buying a knife, you, 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 a decent knife would have a full tang, would it? Uh, no, a lot of good knives are hidden tang. This is a hidden tang. Yeah. Yeah, when it's in, it's hidden, you can't see it. Yeah. And, you know, through the vast majority of human history, hidden tang knives are all we had, and they worked very, very well. Yeah. You think of forestry tools like bill hooks or even jungle tools like prangs, they have hidden tangs. And it's about making a mix of things, isn't it? Yeah. And you've got, what, a sharpening? I'm going to call these leather strops here for sharpening. Yeah. yeah. Are they different grades on those leathers? No, they're all. That's just one leather, and you put what with them? A a paste. A measure. paste, a co honing compound. Yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant! Now tonight, so you might be doing something in the dark. Yeah, we're night forging to run up, um, just to really show off the colours and the flame and stuff. Really, just get the atmosphere going. Well, please well, look forward to coming and seeing it. All right, thank you. Good protecting your hands. You know, wipe, protecting your clothes, wiping your hands on, and making yeah. you feel a bit more relaxed. Very important, very important part of that, yeah. Are you making a uh, hook or a fire steel? Uh, fire steel, please. Fire steel. And that pushes our air in. Thank you. Yeah. We're working nice and horizontal. It's then going to come out, go onto the anvil here. You right or left handed? I'm right handed. Right handed. Hammer those in your right hand then. And you're going to come in on that corner at 45 degrees and you're going to get that point down to a nice yep. sharp point and then we'll work it back into a long elegant point. The tongs, a nice little groove top and bottom, which conveniently almost if you made it. It's almost like it was planned. It wasn't, <laughs> so it's really convenient. <laughs> so slide that in, hand over there, take yourself around. Yep. Important safety note, if you're at the anvil and you drop something, don't the catch it. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds silly, but we spend years learning that half catch reflex, don't you? Yeah. Lovely heat, obviously. Oh, too, too far in. Too far in. Yeah, there we go. We'll hold that then. Quite possibly. So we're hitting that yep. sort of angle. 
Yep, go. It's gone wide, isn't it? Yep. So turn it and flatten it. Good. Back on edge. Which work in between those two sides. You get your hands for the hips. Back it. Good. Turn. Step forward. There we go. Good. Good, but you're starting to hit back here. You get the end down. Think of it like a right, yeah. right here. Yep. Think of it like a tube of toothpaste. You can get to there at that point. You can overlap the hammer and the edge yep. of the anvil. Come in there. And that's a real good point. Yeah. Yep. Think of it like a tube. the one bit of stock that wasn't the earmark for anything. <laughs> I was like, I can make something with this, I'm what sure. Are you, what are you forging? Good question. Yeah. At the moment, I'm just forging a distraction. Yeah. Uh, probably something like a boat here. Yeah. Exactly. It's just an excuse to play with fire at a different time of night, isn't it? <laughs> Did you bring the port? We got a port. You got to have a port, there we go. That's no, we six bottles of port. We're going to have no cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so we had seven to start with. I think we're through down. Sam, I'm going back to guard it, guys. Let me go back. One more. One more. <laughs> I'm staring at the bright there and I'm staring at the bright there and looking to the dark. Nothing. There's loads of us out there. There's just here. voices. Yeah. No one here. But the voices are normally there, it's very hard to tell. <laughs> 150 <laughs> beers. <laughs> It means I can have a beer. <laughs> I've ruined it, I've come back on Ben. Oh, he's making one of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah something. <laughs> if you start singing, he, uh, he does it while dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. I love you. <laughs> yeah. You vaguely sober, Mark? Uh, what's that, Tom? You vaguely sober? Yeah. Cool. Give me a minute. Uh, not that sober. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're on, Dave! Are you okay? Oh, it's just confusing. What? Yeah. Yeah. Hold that tight. I'm holding it tight. You got it? Yeah, yeah, really tight. It's much stronger than me. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got woodworkers' arms. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I did that. He's <laughs> 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 
And the one next door to him. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna do. Oh, that's right. Let it be light. Oh, oh look at that. This is a oh, twist yeah. that Mark helped with. It's beautiful. It's, it's also yep. very hot. <laughs> You've got blacksmith's hands though. Yeah, yeah they still burn like flesh do. <laughs> <laughs> juggling as well, that's um, good. Yeah, yeah. Well I think that Amy, the one of the site owners, does a lot of work for, with yeah. sort of volunteer groups and so I'll donate it to their, oh, that's their nice. camp kitchen is what I thought. Oh that'd be nice. Oh, nice yeah. Stuff,